Hi! In today's video I'm going to be sharing some of my tips for a plastic-free zero-waste kitchen. I have done a video similar to this but bathroom edition with some of my zero-waste swaps for your bathroom so I will have that video linked below if you're interested. But to start off my tips for your kitchen plastic-free swaps. One of the first things is when it comes to food storage and containers. Typically glass containers are a better choice here than plastic Tupperware just because plastic is not a great choice and also it doesn't hold up as well over time. So I would recommend choosing glass containers for food storage over plastic. But even better than that, to kind of go off of this tip even more, is to use glass containers that already held food in the first place, such as like pickle jars or pasta sauce jars. Pretty much every time I go through a glass jar of pasta sauce, I reuse it. Like in this case, this is an old Prego jar and I'm now using it to pickle vegetables in. Even if you don't want to go out and buy glass containers, chances are there is food that you already buy that comes in glass containers that you can just wash out after you're done with them and put something else in them. Speaking of food storage, another way to keep foods in the refrigerator is to use plastic wrap, but plastic is horrible. And so luckily there are alternatives to plastic wrap like this bees wrap. It pretty much functions just the same as plastic wrap, but you can wash it and reuse it over and over again forever. And this is actually a plant-based vegan. It's not actually made with beeswax, but some of them are just depending on whether vegan items is a priority to you or not. Either way, there is an alternative to plastic wrap in your kitchen. Another thing I used to go through a lot was plastic Ziploc baggies, like particularly the sandwich size. Not just for sandwiches, but I would put just food in there and store it that way. And luckily now they make silicone reusable washable bags like this. So you can avoid the plastic. I actually still have some plastic baggies that I'm trying to get through those very slowly, but I don't intend on repurchasing those in the future now that I have these. These also hold up really well in the freezer, whereas a plastic baggie would not. And these are pretty easy to just wash and rinse out. And they come in all different types of sizes. This is just the one that I have here, but you could get large ones or sandwich size ones. Another thing that I use in the kitchen a lot is aluminum foil and parchment paper. I use the oven a lot and typically you want to use either foil or parchment paper when you're putting the food into the oven on a baking sheet depending on what kind of baking sheet you have. If you have a non-stick one, that's a really good option to avoid use of aluminum foil or parchment paper. Or another option is this silicone baking mat. These are reusable as well. You just wash and rinse them off and you can avoid the constant buying of parchment paper and aluminum foil and just throwing those away all the time. This is an alternative that creates much less waste because you should have a silicone baking mat for years and years. I can't imagine. They, they don't really wear down, so you should have this mat for a very long time. Another thing I wanted to mention regarding water. I know a lot of people still buy water bottles, plastic water bottles, single use. And I know that technically those are recyclable, but so much plastic just doesn't end up getting recycled. So the best choice is to just avoid it, if at all possible, if you can. So I would recommend getting a water filter that you just keep in the fridge and reuse it and fill it up. You just have to buy the individual filters, but the larger canister itself 
you should have for an extremely long time. Even though it is made of plastic, like a typical Brita would be plastic, there are some alternatives out there that I'm a little bit curious of. Um, I'll put those links in the description if you're looking for a water filter that has less plastic in it. But since I already have a Brita, I'm just going to continue to use that and hopefully it should last me a very long time. Another thing I wanted to mention is silverware. I see a lot of zero waste recommendations, channels, people talking about like bamboo silverware and non-plastic silverware that you can take to go. So obviously your usual silverware is probably going to be like metal of some form. I was kind of interested in the idea of buying a little set of a bamboo fork and a knife and a straw to take with me if I ever want to eat on the go. But then I realized that that isn't even necessary to buy because everybody already has these. And if you really are looking for silverware to keep with you on the go so that you don't have to use plastic disposable silverware, there is no reason why you can't just grab a knife, fork, and spoon out of your drawer, silverware that you already own, and keep that with you in your purse. So just whenever you need it, you can use it. And that way you can refuse the plastic single-use silverware when you're out eating out at restaurants or getting food to go. The next tip I have for avoiding plastic is, I mentioned this in my low waste grocery shopping video, but I do use reusable grocery shopping bags and I keep those in my kitchen, but those should last you for many years. However, when it comes to trash and recycling, typically you would use a plastic bag for those. And I do still use a plastic bag for trash, still kind of deciding if I want to try and find an alternative for that. But every once in a while, I'll go to the grocery store just to pick up an item or two. And when I do that, I get myself a paper bag like this. And I use these to store my recycling before I take it out because paper is obviously recyclable and it's a good way to reuse that. Also, if you just have a recycling bin that you feel comfortable not even using any type of lining and just tossing the thing straight in there, that completely works as well. You just have to make sure that you really rinse out everything before you recycle it so that you don't get any food in it because that would get kind of gross. But you could use a paper bag like this to store your trash in the kitchen as well. That would work perfectly fine if you have like a trash can or your kitchen sink, you could line it with these paper bags and that would be a way to avoid plastic trash bags or recycling bags. The very last tip that I have to mention for your kitchen kind of is a little bit more general, but kitchen appliances in general are almost always a bad idea. Just don't buy them unless you really intend to use them. There are so many kitchen gadgets out there. They are almost always plastic. Unless you truly believe that you would be using it on a consistent basis, avoid buying kitchen gadgets like that. If you are going to buy something for your kitchen that you have intent of using very frequently, invest in something that's going to last you a long time rather than just buying a very cheap kitchen appliance that's probably going to break and you probably aren't going to get good use out of it. This is just kind of a tip in general of don't buy things you don't need, but I feel like kitchen appliances are frequently bought for other people, like as gifts and stuff, and I just want to say I think there are other gifts that are better than kitchen gadgets that you don't know if they're going to use, which is why I talk about this in my sustainable minimalist gift guide video, so if you're interested in hearing a little bit more about that, I'll have that video linked below as well. So that is everything I have to share for this video of zero waste kitchen swaps. Hopefully this helps you make your kitchen use less plastic. If you're trying to become plastic free, hopefully some of these tips helped you. 
and thanks for watching.